Okay. So now I am going to change your life. I see. Jonathan did his Obugzilla video earlier. He talked about quick search. This is quick search. And I wasn't a big quick search fan. And then Jonathan sort of taught, taught me some quick search stuff, and it was cool. And then Dan Vettitz taught me some more, and it was really cool. And now every time I see Je Jesse, I give him a little hug because Jesse made quick search, and it's awesome. Did he make it or did he just write that thing? I don't know. I think he made it. I'm probably stomping on people's intellectual property. So the first thing you do is you go to Bugzilla. And you, you right-click on this, and you add a keyword for this search, uh, and you make the keyword something pretty easy, like bug. Hit save. And now what you can do is you can just type in bug, and then you can type in something like, you know, 50,000, and it'll always just jump you to that bug. And that's kind of cool. But you can also use it to search. So you can say bug, and you can say something like, oh, I don't know, uh, indexed db. And if there's a bug with that alias, it'll jump you right to it. Or, if you're searching for something like Fennec, uh, I don't know, Fennec add-ons. Now it will show you the result of bugs where Fennec and add-ons, and you can see it's searching a bunch of stuff. It's searching, it's trying the product with Fennec, the component with Fennec, the summary with Fennec, the whiteboard with Fennec, uh, the product, component, summary, and whiteboard with add. So it's doing all these things. You get, you know, 24 bugs, but it's a quick way to find some of the things you want. Now, here's where we turn it up a notch. So there's some reserved words. Um, the first word that's reserved, and has to be in all caps, is for the state of the bug. If it's open, if it's fixed, uh, if it's won't fixed or whatever. So you can say something like bug open Fennec add-ons. And now it will only show you the open ones, uh, which by default, by the way, is what it does. But if you wanted to see the closed ones as well, you can just say open and switch it to all. And when you switch it to all, all of a sudden, Da, 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 da. Now it's showing you 148, which means that you have fixed 124 of these bugs. Way to go, Fennec team. Um, but as you can see, all of a sudden it gets really powerful. So you can start seeing, you know, which ones were won't fix with Fennec in the title. And so all of a sudden, da, 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 it goes along, and here are the 94 won't fix ones. Now, turn it up another notch, right? So let's say you want to find out who gets won't fix the most. Uh, you can do something like bug won't fix where the reporter was modif. And here are all the bugs that you filed which got won't fixed. I hate those guys. Hate those guys. And if you want to see how prolific a bug filer you were, you can do something like all reporter modif and all of a sudden you'll start to see things like here is every bug that modif has ever filed in his life. 280, which is kind of cool. Um, you can do you can also search for flags this way too. So you can say like bug all uh, status 1.9.2 colon uh, 0.4 plus. And this will show you, um, because what it's looking for is in the uh, blocking flag. Oopsie. No, that's status. That's wrong. I did that wrong. That's okay. I make mistakes. Everybody can make mistakes. You can say blocking 192.4. And because the only thing that will have a dot four plus in it is the ones where it's blocking 192.4 plus. Now you can see all the bugs that were blocking 192.4 uh, plus. Really important here to use the all keyword because it turns out that these are all state fixed because they were fixed on trunk before they were backboard to the branch. But it does mean that when you want to do really complex things like see all the bugs which are uh, let's say status let's, see, let's do blocking 192.5 and the only I just happen to know the flags are always dot five plus and it, it's sort of a subset search so that'll just work. Um, where the status for 1.9.2 is not fixed, so I'll just prepend that thing with a minus because that just means where that is true but that is not true. You put that together and now what I'm seeing is all of the 1.9.2.5 blockers which are not yet fixed on 1.9.2. Hmm. And it's just bam, there's my list. And it actually looks kind of, if you squint and think about it the right way, it kind of looks like English. Uh, or you can do something like, well, let's see how many of the blocking 1.9.2 bugs where the uh, Signee is BZ. And all of a sudden you can start doing things like that. And of course, there's probably going to be a couple. Of, there's one at least where BZ is the assignee. Um, and you can start to pivot and do a bunch of things. You can do a bunch of other stuff as well. You can say, well, where the product is Firefox. Uh, turns out none of them are uh, the product Firefox. The product core. Uh, well, okay, I'll show you all the product core. Then you can do stuff like, well, you know, which in, within these, which components do you want? Well, maybe the component is NSS. Uh, happy day, there's none for NSS. But all of a sudden you can start to drill down and really sort of play around with, uh, with quick search. And that's, I mean, that's basically the business right there. Now, the next thing you're going to ask is, well, how do I do complex queries and stuff? It's awesome. 
you type into Google quick search Bugzilla, not Buffzilla, Bugzilla, and the first page you'll get is Jesse's page, where all of a sudden there's all sorts of things about, like here are the fields that are searched by default, and here are the other ways you can get into things. So you can find it reporter, etc., etc. I use this all the time for IT bugs. I'll do things like bug reporter Belsner uh, product is Mozilla.org, and then I actually want to see the ones that are open because I can never find these things again. And here we go. Here are all the, the bugs that I've filed on Mozilla.org or whatever. And that's basically quick search. That's it.